Hello everyone, welcome to iBasiac and welcome to another floor care demonstration. Today I'll be reviewing the Bissell Deluxe Upright Carpet Washer. I've come to another house because unfortunately my carpets have just been cleaned but the carpet I'm kneeling on is pretty dirty because there are a lot of dogs you may have seen milling about. A lot of dogs who live in this house and several dogs come to visit so this carpet is well overdue for a good cleaning. Will this Bissell leave this carpet nice and soft, fresh smelling and clean? Well, by the end of this video, we'll find out. I'll first take you on a tour of the machine and point out the various features and functions. Then I'll show you how to use it, demonstrate using it, and we'll see what a difference it can make to my carpet. This is the business end of the Bissell Deluxe. It's got six dirt lifter cleaning rows of brushes. Basically, it's got a rotating brush underneath, similar to an upright vacuum cleaner that rotates at high speed to dislodge the dirt. It's also got two jets that fire out the carpet cleaning solution onto the carpet, and at the front, the nozzle sucks all the soiled solution into the dirty water tank. To help clean the machine after use, and I think it will need it after I've cleaned this filthy carpet, the nozzle comes off and you can rinse that under the tap. Earlier Bissell models didn't have that feature and they could often get gunked up, so that's a handy little thing to have on a carpet washer, the ability to be able to clean it. These are the dirt lifter power brushes on the underside of the machine and you'll notice that they move up and down to incorporate varying heights of carpets, so you should be fine with longer pile carpets right down to shorter pile. Excuse the muck on this, I have actually used this machine at home so it's not pristine. You've also got two edge sweep brushes designed to clean up to the skirting board. This is the handle grip which incorporates the trigger. You squeeze that to release the solution onto the carpet. There are two pedals at the back of the cleaner. The red pedal switches the machine on and off and the grey pedal enables you to recline the handle to the working position. There's an onboard hose for your above floor cleaning and it's fitted with a tough stain brush. That's ideal for doing your upholstery, your stairs and for spills and stains. You also get a spraying crevice tool which is also stored on board. That's ideal for cleaning down the sides of your chairs or round the edges of your carpet. If you've got a black line that sometimes de develops over time, this will help remove it. It sprays the solution from a jet from this little nozzle here right down to the end of the nozzle and then the suction removes the dirty solution as you pull the nozzle back. This is Bissell's tank in tank system that enables you to have the dirty and clean water in the same container. Although they are in the same container, they can never mix because the clean water is stored inside an internal bladder system. So basically what you do, you fill the machine with the warm water and solution, a cap full of solution, I'll show you that in a moment. Fill it up to the top, close the lid, and then as you're using the machine, as the clean solution is being used, the bladder is emptying, but at the same time the dirty water is being sucked off the carpet and into the outer bucket and it surrounds the bladder. So when you've used up the solution, it'll be time to empty the outer bucket and there's a little lip here, you just tip it down the sink or down your loo depending on what you've been cleaning and then you can refill it and then pop the lid back on like that, close the catch and then it goes back on the machine. Before I put it back, just underneath where the tank is, if I angle it I can show you this is Bissell's heat wave technology. Now basically it takes some of the hot air from the motor and it blows it underneath the tank. This enables the solution in the tank to stay at the optimum temperature. Some of the exhaust air is also blown back onto the carpet to assist drying it. Okay, so I'm at my sink now, ready to fill the solution tank. Because we're going to be cleaning up after pets. I'm using some of Bissell's Wash and Protect Pet Stain and Odour Formula. I'm going to give the bottle a bit of a shake. And then using the supplied measure that you get with the Bissell Deluxe, I'm going to fill it up to the line with the solution. And pop that into the clean water tank. Just lift the little grey stopper, pour that in. And then I'm going to top that up 
with hot water from the tap, not boiling water, just hot tap water. And because this has a flat bottom, it's quite good because you can leave it to fill. You don't have to hold it. You don't have to support the weight. We can just wait for it to fill. Okay, it's nearly full. Let's just turn it down. There we go. When it's filled, we can just close the little fill cap and pop the lid on, making sure we locate it correctly. Now it's ready to take to the cleaner. A little tip for you before you actually put it back in the machine, what I like to do is give the solution a bit of a shake. This ensures that it's thoroughly mixed in with the hot water. Now I can pop it into the machine and we're ready to go. For the carpet cleaning demonstration I'm just going to clean half the area you can see on the screen. I'm just going to wash this area I'm walking on. I'm going to leave the other side uncleaned and we'll be able to judge if there's a marked difference between the cleaned area and the uncleaned area. One thing I'll say to you before I start, before you do any carpet washing, please vacuum your carpet thoroughly. You'll get better results from your deep cleaner that way. Okie dokie. Now, what you have to do with this particular model, apart from recline the handle, you squeeze the trigger on the forward pass, but you also squeeze it on the back pass. So basically two wet passes, forward and back, and when you've done that, you go over the path that you've just cleaned several times without the trigger being squeezed to remove the excess water. Now it's a bit hard to tell in the artificial lighting, fortunately it's a dull day here in the UK, but I'm standing behind the camera and I can see the side that's been cleaned, which is this side here, I'll just walk on it. This side has been cleaned and this side hasn't. There is a line, it's a little bit hard to see, if you follow my finger, I'm on the unclean side. Now what I can tell you is, it smells very nice, the solution. The carpet pile on the clean side has certainly been revitalised compared to the side I've not gone over yet. So, okay, it's not dramatic. This isn't a home shopping channel. I don't throw down loads of muck. This is a real life situation. But the proof of the pudding is in the dirty water. And I have a feeling, although this doesn't look very good, when you see the colour of the water, I think that might help convince you.
Now bear in mind that it was only a small area of carpet. I've still got the rest of the living room, quite a large living room to clean. If I got that much dirt out of that area of carpet, I dread to think what I'll get out of the rest. And that wasn't a particularly high traffic area. By the door, by the kitchen door, it's certainly dirtier and I'm sure the results will be even more dramatic than that. Okay, I've done the carpet cleaning demonstration. It's very good. I give it five out of five for carpet cleaning and it leaves the carpet relatively dry. Drier than a lot of carpet washers I've used. Certainly drier than the Vax Dual Power Pro that I demonstrated on my channel earlier. Anyway, I've got a footstool that I'm sure is absolutely filthy, so I'm going to refill this with the cleaning solution and I'll show you how to use the hose and attachments. To demonstrate the above floor cleaning tools, I'm going to go over this footstool. Now this footstool, it's dark brown, so it won't show the dirt. It doesn't look dirty, but it may surprise you when we see, yes, well, anyway, as I was saying, this is a footstool. It was bought by the human beings in the house so they could put their feet up of a night while watching TV. But being a house full of dogs, the dogs saw this and thought, oh, a new dog bed, that's nice. A new raised dog bed so we can sit up higher and bark at people going by. So basically, this is what this is. It's a dog bed. Is it going to be filthy dirty? I don't know. So what are we going to do? is remove the hose from the holder and onto the end of the hose we've already got the tough stain brush this works very like the main unit it sprays the solution out of this jet here at the back you can agitate the cleaning solution into the fibers using these brushes and then remove the soiled solution through this suction channel and you can see all the dirt being removed because it's clear again with carpets vacuum your upholstery before deep cleaning them and also check for colour fastness don't just start using it on any old upholstery because you might find half the colour comes out of it you need to check that it's suitable for wet cleaning before you use the Bissell so it's just the same principle I'm going to go two wet passes and then use the suction to remove the solution I'll just do half of it just for the purpose of the demo but one thing you must do before doing this is turn the grey dial on top of the machine from floor cleaning to tools. Being dark brown, obviously, we're not going to see any difference, apart from the fact this does look darker, because this is damp from using the cleaning solution. This is the part I haven't cleaned yet. But what I can tell you, I've done the sniff test, I've smelt the part I've cleaned, it smells lovely and fresh, I've smelt the half that I haven't cleaned yet, and that smells of dog. Just put a little glass jug here so I can tip some of the dirty water into that. I can see already that it's not filthy, filthy dirty, but there's certainly dirt in there. <laughs> wow. Just from half that footstool, I'm not surprised because, as I say, the dogs just jump on that as a dog bed, even when they've been outside. Dirty paws jump straight on that footstool and this is the result. Okay, I'm gonna clean the rest of that footstool before I carry on with the demo. And then I'm going to take the Bissell Deluxe to the bottom of my stairs and see how effective it is at cleaning your stairs. I've got the Bissell Deluxe safely at the bottom of my stairs just to see how far I can reach with the attached hose. Well, I can safely clean seven stairs using the machine at the bottom. If I want to clean the rest of the stairs, I will have to place a cleaner above me and clean the rest of the stairs that way. When you're doing that, please take care that you don't pull down the machine on top of you full of water because it will hurt, I can assure you. 
So as long as you take care with the machine, you will be able to clean a full flight of stairs using the attached tools. I've attached the spraying crevice tool to the end of the hose so I can give you a quick demonstration of that. Like I say, this is ideal for cleaning around the edges of your room, down the sides of your chairs, inside your car as well, all those nooks and crannies in the car where you can't actually get into with the tough stain brush. If you attach the spraying crevice tool, you'll find you'll be able to get into all those really tight spaces inside your car. So, what I'm going to do is, although it's not dirty, but it's just to show you what you could do with it. Fireplaces, if you've got a real fire, especially, you may be very familiar with rather a nasty black mark that can develop in front of a fire. That's why many people have a rug in front. But often you can get a dirty grate mark here, right across the hearth, between the carpet and the hearth. So this is where the spraying crevice tool will come in very handy. just about completes my demonstration of the Bissell Deluxe carpet washer. Would I recommend it? Yes, wholeheartedly. I think it's a fantastic machine. It's far quieter than many carpet washers I've used, so if noise is a problem for you, it is certainly a much more pleasant sounding machine. I also find it leaves the carpet drier than any other carpet washer I've used. It also brings the pile up. Um, all in all, I think it's absolutely fantastic. I've used many, many carpet washers and you can see all the reviews on my channel, but so far the Bissell is the best. I know in, in the past I've said this is the best carpet washer and it had been at the time. Other makes I've tested at the time of making the videos so that they were the best I'd come across, but this is the best to date.